This is my old iPhone, which was previously disabled, but I was able to fix it in just a few steps. Today, I want to share with you the quickest and only official method provided by Apple. While there are other unofficial methods out there, they may risk damaging your device, so it's best to stick with the official solution. Let's quickly go through how to fix it. First, you'll need to power off your device. So, let's go ahead and shut down the iPhone. Before starting, make sure you have iTunes installed on your computer. It works on both Mac and Windows. If you're unsure how to install iTunes, I've included a video link in the description below to guide you through the process. Once iTunes is ready on your PC, open it. If you don't open it manually, don't worry, it will automatically launch when your device connects. Now, let's connect the iPhone to your computer. For older devices, hold the power button or home button while inserting the data cable into the iPhone to connect it to the PC. After a successful connection, your iPhone will display the iTunes logo with a cable connection icon. This means the device is now in recovery mode and ready for repair. For newer devices, simply insert the cable and it should connect automatically. If you encounter any difficulties during the connection process, feel free to comment below with your device model and I'll help you out. On your PC screen, a dialog box will pop up with update and restore options. Make sure to choose the restore button. Do not select update as it only updates your software and won't fix the disabled iPhone. Next, iTunes will display a message asking to restore your device with updates. From this message, click on the restore and update button. Then click next and agree to the license agreement that appears on your screen. Once that's done, the download process for your iOS firmware will begin. You can monitor the download progress in the top right corner of the iTunes window. The time it takes will depend on your internet speed. If the download takes a long time, your iPhone might disconnect from the PC. If this happens, don't worry. Simply reconnect your device. The downloaded file is already saved on your PC, so there's no need to download it again. Once the download is complete, iTunes will take a little time to process the file and extract the software. After that, your iPhone will restart and enter restore mode. Don't worry, this process is fully automatic. You just need to wait patiently until it's finished. The restart may happen multiple times during this process. When everything is completed, you'll see a message saying that your iPhone has been restored to factory settings. At this point, you can close iTunes on your PC if you'd like. On your iPhone's welcome screen, you'll now be able to enter your iCloud ID and password to unlock your device. Please note that restoring your iPhone will reset it to factory settings, meaning all files, videos, and photos stored on the device will be permanently deleted. However, anything saved in your iCloud storage will be restored once you log in. This is the only official way to restore your disabled iPhone at home without needing to pay for a repair shop. I hope this helped unlock your device. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video.